It's a heavily traveled road. But with more cars comes more problems. Fred Davis's law firm sits off the highway. He says he's seen many accidents firsthand. I'm in that area every day and uh, have an opportunity to see many of the traffic problems there. One of the key issues discussed were the exit and entrance ramps into the highway, many of those getting congested during peak hours. That leads to a problem known as weaving. The weaving is, you know, you've got some folks coming onto the freeway wanting to move over to the left and stay on, and some folks on the freeway that want to move over to the right and get off at the next exit. The issue, there's not a lot of distance between some of those entrances and exits. So if you allow them to, to, to make that weaving, those weaving maneuvers over longer distance, that helps you know, give them more opportunities, more gaps, increases your safety a little bit. And what adds to that problem, according to drivers, the speed limit. Well, I think the 75 mile an hour speed limit creates a dangerous situation when you've already got a traffic problem. Higher speeds on a freeway facility and then you're, you're exiting and you have to slow down to 45 on the frontage road. And, and make that merging maneuver, that's a challenge. And those conducting the study want to hear from the public about other problem areas. The key component to why we're doing it is to provide uh, the safest and most efficient transportation system that we can for the citizens. Driver feedback helping to make the roads safer. Monica Castro, KAGS HD News.